Hello everyone. Today I want to start the new course on introduction to ergonomics. Ergonomics is sometimes called as human factors engineering. Most of the design engineers, designers, physiotherapists, health practitioners, they follow the ergonomic principles to improve their task. This is nothing but an interaction between man and machine. In this course, we want to introduce you about basic physiology related to workplace, basic ergonomic principles, understanding of the workplace injuries, and the possible methods which can help us to reduce the risk of discomfort or injuries. Keeping all this in mind, there are certain course objectives. First is to increase the awareness uh, need for and role of ergonomics in occupational health. Mainly, ergonomics is required in everyday activity. However, this course is slightly uh, skewed towards occupational health because in occupations, the, uh, the rate of injury is higher than the day-to-day -day life. Starting from your kitchen to the, to the aircraft uh, piloting, ergonomics is required. So there are three main objectives we kept in mind. One is to increase the awareness of ergonomics in occupational health. Second is to obtain the knowledge of applications of ergonomic principles for the design of industrial workplace and for the prevention of occupational injuries. And third is to understand the breadth and the scope of ergonomics because it has a very wide scope starting from writing a letter to uh, uh, piloting an aircraft or uh, going in a space shuttle. Ergonomics has wider scope. We can see the difference of letters from one language to other language. Ergonomics will be different. Differently required, I can say. Rather. Topics which we will cover in this series will be Introduction to Ergonomics, Introduction to Human Physiology, related to occupational tasks like breathing response, like heart response, like capability to do the work, person's ability to exert the force. And this may be measured using some of the objective methods and some of the subjective methods. Subjective methods are relatively easier to uh, take up in industry. Objective methods may require a kind of sophisticated equipments for performing the evaluation. Most of the manual material handling tasks like lifting, lowering, uh, placing objects on conveyor belt, taking off from the conveyor belt, putting bags in a truck or um, train wagons. So everywhere we required a kind of optimization of the lifting task. Then workplace design, you can see the sorting out of the envelopes uh, in, by a postman. You can see out the assembling job doing uh, by the workers in lock industry or hardware industry. Design of displays and control, it may be like user graphics interface of uh, website design, maybe software design, maybe the design of a control panel of the power plant. Hand tool design, we can see a different shapes of the tool, especially with the dentist. So these are the ergonomic requirement, how we can see the back of the teeth to find out the cavity or to find out the scales. There are certain environmental stressors which hinder the performance, like illumination, if it is low, difficult to work. If it is high, it may be glaring, uh, noise, when sound become unbearable, it, it is called noise and noise may hinder the performance, heat, vibration. So these are the topics which we will cover in this series of ergonomics uh, lecture. And hopefully you would enjoy and you will be aware about the wider scope of ergonomics. Keeping all this in mind, what we expect from the participants, what we expect from the learners, are these course objectives. First is, we want him to be able to 
First is we want him to be able to define ergonomic and its principles, then understand the physiology of the workplace, of the body related to the requirement of the tool, task or workplace, how to create a pragmatic solutions. Maybe the designing of the tool, for example, a hammer, it has a uh, softer surface, the person can use it for longer time. If the scissor has a proper space to put fingers in, the person will be hurt less. If suppose like toothbrush has a proper angle, the person can clean teeth inside, outside, all uh, comfortably. So there are many requirements for the tool design as well as the design of the workplace. Then finally we can say that the ergonomics is for effective and efficient use of the facility. So this is what we expect from uh, the learners after completing or after going through our series of lectures. Hopefully this will benefit you and create awareness towards man-machine interaction. So we will learn more in the next lecture. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe.